Hey everybody, welcome to my home. My name is Becky. I'm so excited that you're here today. I know it's a little dark in here. I apologize. I'm not quite sure why it's so dark in here because it's a beautiful, bright, sunshiny day. Fake fall is over and summer is back and it is hot. It is so hot, but it is supposed to cool off soon and I cannot wait because I'm so ready for some cooler temperatures and I'm ready to decorate for fall, which is what I'm doing today, but I'm doing like a whole bunch of videos today in one, trying to get it all done as much as possible. But for this video, Summer and Lily and I, we went antiquing and I want to share with you what I got because I got a fairly big haul. Um, Lily got a call saying that her dress was ready. We had to go pick it up. We had to go to Wilmington, North Carolina, which is always fun for me because there's so much shopping to do there that we don't have here. So we all got in the car and we went to pick up her dress. It fit her perfect. I cannot wait for you to see it. Um, but there's two antique stores in particular on Market Street that we enjoy going to. One is called Flea Bodies, the other is called Baker Street Curiosity Shop, and I'm going to let you shop along with us and see what we found. Also, three days later, David and I had our anniversary, 20, 28 years. It was on a Sunday. We got up, we went to church, and he said, um, do you want to do anything today? I said, yes, I do. I want to go antiquing. So there's an antique store in a place called Clarkton, North Carolina, which is still a little drive. It's a good little drive for us. So we got in the truck, we went to Clarkton, Summer was with us, and I got some goodies. I spent about $100 at that store but i don't regret a penny because i got all kinds of treasures so for now sit back watch the footage of what we saw and then when you get back i'll show you all my treasures this first stop is called baker street curiosity shop and even though it is called baker street it is in fact located on market street in wilmington north carolina it is a small little place but it never fails me i always seem to find a goodie there this is the place that i found my cruel my big cruel piece um, for like $22 the last time I took a trip over there and um, that's when I why I immediately saw this piece it was only marked I think like 14 or $15 but the colors were just a little off from what I use in my house so I did leave that leave that there for somebody else now you may see some Catherine home pieces peeking out over the corner there I saw it too don't worry um, Catherine home pieces are very expensive they're very fun to look at, but to bring one home is probably not in the cards for me. However, if you'll see this little bowl here, I had to look three times, even four, and I made Lily look. <laughs> is, did I read that right? It was only $8.99 and it was damaged, but you better believe that that little piece came home with me on this day because I have always dreamed of having a Catherine home piece. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it's mine. There was a larger platter there too. And of course that was marked more in line of what I expect to see when I see one of her pieces. Now these little napkins, I left them laying there and I told one of the girls, I said, don't let me forget to come back by and pick these up. Well, they let me forget and they're still at the store. If you like them and in your, if you're in the area, they're still there unless I can beat you to it because I do plan to go back and get them the next time I get to go, go back. Um, this is Lily being silly. She thought that her daddy would enjoy that video. <laughs> of Arnold Schwarzenegger and um, this booth is a fun one to look through because they have a lot of mid-century pieces the clowns were just a little bit too much since I was trying to focus on more Halloween items today I thought I would include that in there for anybody who likes to decorate with cl clowns I do not but I could see them as a scary little bowl filler type situation but no no not for me that's not my thing and then my little summertime she's always in the jewelry she does love her a piece of jewelry let me tell you that's where she always gravitates when we go into these antique stores lily at that time was in the vintage clothing summer was in the vintage jewelry now that little plate back here um, i actually have one of these i thought about getting these two to try to have a set of four well that would have only been a set of three i would need at least a set of four to 
finalize my collection so I ended up leaving it leaving them behind because I, I didn't know if I'd ever be able to find the fourth one but I could do a beautiful place setting with that for sure and then these are just some adorable little vintage coffee mugs for Halloween that I wanted to add in um, there's a little alligator hiding in that cloche thought that was adorable it wasn't a salt and pepper shaker though it was just a little figurine I had to convince her that that paper hat would not give her lice <laughs> before she would model it for us. All right, so this little doll trunk I thought was so pretty. The graphics were in perfect condition. The colors, it was just a pretty little piece. I don't know what I would ever do with anything like that, but it was pretty to look at. And these are your hosts for this evening saying hello to you in the mirror. Now, I love this owl. It was from the 1970s. I love the size of it. I loved the colors, the graphics. It was just really pretty, and it was only $14.99. So, I really enjoyed that piece. This little nighty or moo moo, or what is, what is the definition of this? I don't know. Was glorious with all the colors. You know, kids today, they don't know what a moo moo is. They think a moo moo is those cotton sleep shirts that are just kind of long and I was telling the girls that is not a moo moo look up Mrs. Roper and that my friends is a moo moo <laughs> all right we have moved our way to a different antique store we've moved down the road just a bit same street market street but we are at flea bodies now flea bodies is a much larger antique mall with lots of vendors they even have a little annex in the back that they've added i love going to flea bodies to see what they have um, to offer anything new now on this day i did not buy anything but it's always fun to look and just see what kind of new treasures they have to offer Now, this booth was so much fun to look through because they had a lot of vintage 90s Halloween decor. That fabric, had it been a larger piece of fabric, I would have gotten that and taken it home just to look at it because it gave me all the happy feels. The 90s were when I was a young adult, um, teenager, growing up. All of my memories are wrapped up in the 90s. When you guys tell me that all of my stuff from the 70s brings you nostalgia that's how the 90s are for me so I don't <laughs> I don't have a lot of 90s decor because I lived through that kind of like you guys say well I enjoy seeing the 70s decor but I wouldn't put it in my house that's kind of how I feel about the 90s I do love looking at it and enjoying it but I probably wouldn't decorate with it now 90s Halloween I absolutely would I remember these types of pieces. I remember them fondly, and they just make me have all the happy feels. <laughs> I just love it. Now, the witch wasn't my favorite one, but there were two pieces in this box. The scarecrow, which is coming up next, was my favorite. If, if I could have just bought him, I probably would because he was adorable. I just loved him. All right, we're gonna fast forward two days, three days, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, three days. We're gonna fast forward to a different 
antique store. This antique store is in Clarkton, North Carolina. It's called Trax Vintiques. Now, I have them on my Facebook, and they had an advertisement where they go and take pictures of some of their booths, and they say, this is what we have in this week. If you want to come out, come check us out. Well, I saw something that I had to have. So as soon as we got out of church on Sunday, we hopped in the car and we went to Trax Vintiques and I spent a little bit of money, but I will share with you what I got in just a second. I want you to look and see if you can tell what I bought <laughs> because it's probably pretty obvious. I will give you a hint. It is to decorate for fall with. So just kind of look around and see see if you can guess what I got but I had the most fun looking around it's not a really really big store but I enjoy it um, I, there's one particular girl there that has a mid-century booth that I like to go look at so it's always worth the trip for me to go see what kind of new pieces she has this little section here was all decorated for Halloween they're doing an open house coming up I think next week so this is you know for that they had it um, so pretty so cool I could just stare at it for days this is the mid-century booth that I like to go to she didn't have as much out today as she normally does but she also has three booths in three different areas so I can understand that if she's trying to um to fill all three booths but I always seem to enjoy looking at what she has to offer because she has very similar tastes to mine The thing about this particular store is, it's, is that it's not all antiques, it's not all vintiques. It's a little bit of crafting pieces too. Um, local artisans that kind of make their crafts and bring it into their booth. So you'll see a lot of that in this footage as well. These little ghosts made out of mops were so cute. And um, you can tell a lot of this stuff is modern, which is fine. It, I like to mix the modern with the vintage myself, so that's okay. Um, you know, my eyeballs went straight to this. Isn't this beautiful? It was um, $20, and then I think the pot was, I can't remember how much the pot was. Uh, I can't really, I, can't, I, I, I got a little fast there. I couldn't see it. <laughs> Hopefully you can see it. Um, but I'm always always seeing something fun in this shop and I enjoy going these glasses were so pretty they look like little dandelions and they had an incredible price on them there were ten dollars for all of them but there were five I don't need any glasses right now I'll probably look back at this footage later and kick myself for not getting them for that price. All right, so the first place that we went to was Baker Street Curiosity Shop, and I already told you what I did, and I got this beautiful little Catherine Home Bowl. I'm so excited to own this. I've always dreamed of one day walking into a thrift store and seeing a piece sitting there that the people just don't know what it is. It's enamelware. Um, the reason that it was only $8.99 is because it has quite a bit of damage on this side, but I'm not going to be eating out of this bowl. This is going to be for decorative purposes. So watch this right here. Uh, you don't even know it, do you? Look at there. Perfect, perfect condition. I love this piece. I'm excited to finally own my very first Catherine Home bowl. And maybe one day I'll luck up again and I'll find another piece. But for me, this is a treasure to find this because I know the worth and value of these pieces and how hard they are to come by. The second thing that I got, you may have guessed, is I got this handsome little man right here. Look how handsome and debonair he is. I 
don't know if he's going to find a permanent home immediately because right now I'm in the middle of transitioning into all of my fall decor. And then, of course, you know, after that will be Halloween and then Christmas. So he may not find a permanent home right away, but I was not going to leave him at the store for $15. He is made in Japan and he was only 15. Well, I just said that. He was just too good to leave so i did pick him up and look how big he is he's about 12 inches i would say so it's so excited to find that then the day of our anniversary we went to clarkton which is um a good sized little vendor mall not real real big but it's fun to go to i enjoy it it is a little bit of a drive for us but it's worth it to me to get out of the house and we don't have a whole lot of options around here and i got some goodies let me tell you so i saw their ad i already told you this on the voiceover but i saw their ad on facebook marketplace no it was just facebook um saying this is what the vendors have put out this week come check us out and then i saw the most glorious fall stoneware set I've ever laid my eyes on. Now, you know I love stoneware. I collect it. You can see behind me, I have some pieces on my wall. It is my weakness, my kryptonite, and I could not not do this. So here is what it looks like. This is just for fall now. I'm gonna use this in my hutch. I cannot wait for you to see how it looks because I've already decorated that hutch. I just pulled this piece out for you to see. I need one more. I'm going to check on eBay and see if I can get one more to finish my collection because they had five. Um, but it's a temperware by Lennox, which is usually a beautiful piece anyway. Any, pe any pieces I've ever gotten by Lennox has always been spectacular. So I got five plates. I got four dessert plates. And I got four coffee cups and they are glorious and i absolutely love them now you saw in the video that there was a lot of stoneware in this booth and it was really really hard for me to walk away from let me tell you the price of that four dollars for the plates each two dollars for the smaller plate each and two dollars for the mug so i got a fantastic deal i cannot complain about that at all um but back to my story, it was really hard to walk away from that booth. I stayed in that booth for quite a while, contemplating if I needed it. I did not. I did not need all of that. I have so many dishes as it is, but I wasn't leaving them. Maybe one day I'll go back. But I did cave on one plate because I've never seen it before. I don't think. It looked different to me. And I have displays all over my house like this. I have one over my bed. I have some in my bathrooms. Um, so I am fine with just getting one plate sometimes because that's all I use it for is to just display a little setting. So I did pick her up. She This was $4 as well. This is Danielle Collection. Um, it, Trailside is the name of this piece. And I just thought it was so pretty. I, I couldn't leave it behind. I just could not. I showed a lot of restraint but I'm not, I mean, I'm not that good. I had to, I had to, just had to. And then you all know that I do collect these glasses as well, these White House, White Hall glasses. I have a lot of them. I will never ever walk away from them when they're only $5 each. I'm just not going to, because one day, one day I'm gonna have a party and I'm gonna want everybody to have a real glass. It's gonna be a vintage party or some sort of thing like that. And I don't, I may not want to use plastic or paper cups and I'm gonna to want to use these and I'm gonna have enough cause I'm gonna collect them and I'm never gonna say no to them. Now I'm not gonna buy them $10 each, $8 each. $5 is about what I pay for these or less when I pick them up. Um, so that, I got four of those. And then you probably guessed that I did get this beautiful piece right here. It will not, sadly, it will not fit in my hutch. It is Sanko Wear by Japan. I didn't get the pot because I don't think I need the pot, but this I can use. I can utilize this in a party. I can serve dinner on it. I can sit it above my cabinets in my kitchen. I can just look at it and smile. I can do lots of things with it. So I did put the $20 in to get this beautiful piece and I brought it home. 
I couldn't say no. I just could not. And then finally, the last thing that I got, you might have seen David carrying them around. He actually picked these out. We do host um, lots of things, Halloween, Easter. So we always need seating. And we got these chairs, these fold up, vintage fold up lawn chairs. They were eight, they were $10 with 20% off. So somewhere in the $8 range. Great condition. I know it's really hard to get into this um, hole. That, <laughs> I know it's hard to see in the camera, but you know what these look like. Everybody had them. They're aluminum lawn chairs. So we picked two, those two up for eight-ish dollars a piece and we'll bring them out when we have a party or need to um, have extra seating. So that's my haul. I think I did so good. Honestly, with the exception of these two things, which was bought on a different day, all of those dishes, the chairs, the serving tray, all of that was around a little less than $100. This was $8.99 and $15, so we'll call it my anniversary gift to myself. How about that? <laughs> I don't regret a penny. I because just these are treasures. How can you, how can you not appreciate these beautiful treasures, right? All right, so that's all that I have for you for today. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes of your day with me. It always means the whole world to me. Until next time, I love you all and I'll see you later, bye.